ultimately led me to like, as soon as I graduated film school and at ASU, it's like, all right, I got this degree. This is what I want to do. I had built a strong following with the buff nerds YouTube channel already. And it was like, it was really starting to grow. I was getting hit up a lot for music videos and it was like, all right, I just need to take the leap and move to LA, yeah. move to LA. And like, no, yeah, this is where kind of our paths cross is literally I moved into my loft and I don't know, within a month or two, maybe three tops. I don't even think that that long, uh, we cross paths yeah, with yeah. the music video that we shot in my loft. I feel like that'd be a cool story to share. Yeah. Too, a so little bit. you just, you kick it off with that yeah, story. So How'd that even ca I, come about? I, yeah, no. So for sure. I, so I'd been shooting with a band they are called Radical Something. Yeah. And if you go to look them up, I don't think they exist anymore. Yeah. RP. The video never came out too, by the way. Yeah. Which it was a, honestly would be really cool to our, show. Our first video ever together. It'd yeah. be sick to show. I don't even have the video file anymore. I know. Like, you I were can't. like notorious in the era of just like deleting footage. <laughs> like right I away. was. I was so bad at that. Um, but yeah. So I was shooting with this band. And at the time of shooting with them, we were like shooting in Malibu, kind of like some sunset shots. And they had mentioned that they were doing another video the next day with like because, a different crew because I had already shot like a couple things for them that cause I shot everything myself with like my Sony FS 700. Yeah. I had just upgraded to that camera, like maybe a year prior and was shooting all my music videos totally. on that. I had shot a little something for them on that. They loved the video. And so they wanted to shoot another video. Yeah. Case in point, the day before that video, you had shot something with them, yeah. which, but I think it's worth mentioning. I was shooting the video prior to us linking right. on a Scarlet. I had red just Scarlet. purchased. For those a, that don't know what a Scarlet is, it's a red camera. Yeah, red one Scarlet. Of the it's like one of the OGs. Like, I mean, without getting too in the weeds, it was like kind of their cheaper version. Like how today has the Komodo, yeah. where it's an, like an easier price point to get into a that. red system. It was that. Uh, it still had its limitations, which we'll get into. But was shooting that video with Radical Something the day prior. They were seeing the playback, looking at the red, like, oh, wow, this quality is crazy. And as you mentioned, you only had an FS700, right. which was cool, but I think it was still 1080. Yeah. yeah. Had some other limitations. I think it was 4K. It just, yeah. I mean, there's a brand name associated with red, too. Yeah. And so they were but. like, yo, like, we're going to run it by this director, but like, it'd be cool. Like, we're going to try and get you on tomorrow or whatever. And I think they'd hit you or I texted yeah, you. Yeah. No, maybe. they texted me and were like, hey, we're shooting the video tomorrow at your place still. Like, is it cool if we bring this guy to like shoot the video on his red camera? And I was like, hell yeah. Like, yeah. I wanted to have access to a red camera, shoot on a red camera. And, and ultimately it's like, I wasn't trying to be a DP. I was trying to be a director. So it was like, yeah, bring in this guy to shoot this video. Cool. Like, but yeah, that's, that's all I knew that someone was coming to shoot the video. Totally. And this is also in an era, which I think is worth mentioning in 2013, we're like, the like a red camera was still kind of like yeah. a little bit mysterious, right? Yeah, you yeah. like saw that David Fincher was using them. Um, it was kind of an elusive camera. I think now, if you're listening to this in 2021 or yeah. maybe even in the future, red like cameras are kind of reds. common, right? Like yeah. especially with the Komodo, people were able to get used ones. Like back then, having a red was like, oh, cr that's crazy. Yeah. Like, no, that's why I was like, exactly, yeah, no question. Like I wasn't like, no, I got it. Like I was like, yes, bring whoever this For guy sure. is. And literally, I never met you. Like you know, no. nowadays, if I was gonna work with a new creative or a new director, I would probably have a call with them, yeah. go over the shot list. I literally just like completely like walked in blind yeah. and I was like, oh, hey, like nice to meet you. Yeah. And I don't think I've ever mentioned this to you, but like, I mean, you definitely like, have loosened up a little since then, but initially like you you were very like serious. <laughs> like mostly now Dude. if we're looking at the monitor and you like the shot, you're like, oh bro, that's fire or whatever, right? Back then, like I remember lighting something and you're like, okay, yeah, that's cool. Like we're never like, would, like you would never, <laughs> not that I was like seeking praise, but like I remember that day, I like, wasn't really sure if you were liking anything because mm. I was like, he's not really reacting. We're like, I don't know. You know now, yeah, it's just funny. Like You know what's back, funny about that is my brother literally at our wedding in his speech as the best man, he talks about like, yo, like just talking about me and where I've come from. He's like, you know, I love my brother and he's just so much more relaxed now. Like he used to be so serious, take everything so seriously. And he's just much more like yeah. loose and relaxed now with everything. So that's funny you said that. Cause I, it's not something I was like really cognizant of. And for you to say that, like, yo, when I first met you, you were so serious. I mean, yeah. Eight years ago, yeah. that's referencing like that's straight out of college, whatever. Yeah. I was probably a very much more just like, not uptight, but just like serious. Well, like naturally not over as, the years you build a shorthand and you can, yeah. not that like your guard was up, but I definitely felt like it's Tom. It's Jake. You, you already, already know. know. It's pretty spot on. All right, ready? All right. First episode. Crazy. I know.